<laughs> well, that's right. Actually, I've got my beekeeper suit on to protect me from these dangerous bees. Of course, uh, perhaps swarming in your backyard this morning, but I've got some bee tamers with me today, so I feel pretty safe. This is eight-year-old Tristan Campbell. He has been beekeeping for the last two or three years or so, and while he's just a very small boy, he knows exactly what to do to tame these bees. What do you What are you doing right now? You've got a contraption in your hand I've never seen before. Well, this is a smoker, and first we're gonna we I smoke through the entrance so they know that we're gonna get in the hive. Okay, so right now as uh, we're going through and he's smoking these bees to give them a warning. This is Tristan's dad, Dustin Campbell. Why is it important to smoke the bees? before you kind of enter the hive? Well, basically it kind of gets the bees to um, kind of start a frenzy inside, and what they do is they start to engorge themselves with the honey. It keeps them busy, and um, so then when we actually open the hive, they're not all swarming out of the top. It's just uh, like a light warning, like a lion tamer's whip, I guess you could say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and, and one thing you said, it makes it harder for them to fly because they're engorging themselves in honey? Yes, that's exactly right. What they do is they engorge themselves completely with honey, and it makes them extremely hard for them to fly. So while there still be bees flying, just won't be as many. Okay, so we're definitely looking to pull some honey out of this hive this morning, giving these bees a little bit of a warning that we are coming inside, kind of like a doorbell at your grandma's house. Why do we want to give them a warning, though? Well, the big reason is, is if you don't, if you open the hive and they don't have, if they don't know you're coming or they don't mm -hmm. have a sense of urgency to, to kind of preoccupy them, um, they will definitely come out and let you know they're there, <laughs> and that's kind of an unpleasant, an unpleasant uh, warning. Yeah, and our camera guy, uh, Dan, has already experienced their wrath this morning. So coming up in the next 15 minutes, we're going to carefully enter this hive and show you what it's like inside. I was going to ask, you got your suit, they, and Tristan has his suit, his dad does. Does Cameron and Dan have a suit? Cameron, he's also Cameron and up. Dan has some uh, now super special bee gloves because of, of the last shot in which they Ooh. attacked him a little bit, but he does not have a hood, so we're going to watch him very carefully in the next couple of minutes. Now, Mo, of I must say, you are rocking that beekeeper outfit. You look great. <laughs> <laughs> Although you're going to want to ditch the beekeeping outfit by the time the sun comes up.